Aloha Kako, this is Brent with the Hawaii Cannabis Organization. We have a very special guest today, and I realized while researching this particular guest that it would be impossible to spend less than an hour on a good introduction. Alice O'Leary Randall is a senior spokesperson for the medical cannabis movement. She and uh, her husband Robert Randall co-founded in 1996 this start to what we all enjoy today. And Robert was the first person in the U.S., for example, to legally receive medical cannabis. Their, their efforts are quite literally the foundation of all that we do today. And, and to put a little context into this, the Controlled Substances Act was created in 1970, thus the war on drugs. And this was 20 years before Prop 215 in California passed. Alice and Robert created the movement that would serve medical cannabis patients today. Other early makers of the movement are probably familiar with U.S. versus Randall. Robert was arrested for possessing cannabis he was using to keep from going blind with glaucoma. And the details of that case were documented in a book that Alice and Robert co-wrote entitled Marijuana Rx, The Patient's Fight for Medical Pot. And the court concluded in that case that the evils Robert sought to avert, his blindness, was greater than the evil of violating the law by growing marijuana in his residence. I believe it was around four plants out on their deck uh, that caused all of this mm -hmm. effort. And then after Robert's untimely death in 2001, Alice became a hospice nurse and later a grief counselor. She retired in 2012 and re-entered the medical cannabis field. So Alice has also worked around the world in various health emergencies. She frequently writes and speaks on the issue. And working with Mary's Medicinals of Denver, she developed the Cannabis Primer Series in 2015 and Mary's Primetime in 2017, both of which are available at maryspubs.com. Uh, she served on the board of directors for the American Cannabis Nurses Association, the advisory board for United in Compassion, an Australian medical cannabis organization, and her book, Medical Marijuana in America, Memoir of a Pioneer, was first released in April 2014. Her most recent book, which you can see up on the screen, was released in December 17th, 2019. The name of that book is Pain-Free with CBD. It was also co-authored by Eloise Thiessen and published by Rockridge Press. Uh, Eloise Thiessen, of course, is another one of our heroes. Wow, without going any further into what we should probably know about this background of Alice O'Leary Randall, I'd like to introduce our guest today, Alice O'Leary Randall. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, Brent, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. So as you know, we're doing teasers for our upcoming November 7th event, the uh, Hawaii Cannabis Can Shift event, and you'll be kicking off that event at, a, on a, at 9 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about what you plan to share at the event? Well, yes, I'm happy to, uh, to share a little bit of it. Um, uh, as you mentioned in your introduction, Bob and I got involved in, uh, uh, we were, well, we were conscripted into the uh, medical marijuana fight in 1975 when we were uh, arrested. Uh, for cultivating. Um, and uh, after he successfully gained legal access to, uh, to the federal supplies of marijuana, um, he became quite the spokesperson and was traveling around the country um, speaking uh, for medical cannabis. And one of his speaking engagements took him to Hawaii. Uh, that was in early 1978. Um, and uh, one of the reasons he went there is because the Hawaiian Public Health Service, the school, the Hawaiian School of Public Health, um, had just finished a, um, a report on marijuana medical uses. It was part of a marijuana task force. Um, and that report became very critical to our efforts for the next, oh, I'd say, two to three years. And I, I don't I don't think very many people are aware of that, that Hawaii had such a, um, such a critical uh, role in the initial, the very early, early days of uh, the medical marijuana movement. So I'm going to be talking about that and, and just what exactly the impact of, of, um, 
of that report was, and also share a little bit of the history um, about my husband and, and his efforts. Wow, that's fantastic. The, the Cannabis Trail, as one of our other presenters said, winds through Hawaii, and, and we're, we're very proud of, of our efforts. So thank you for including us in that, that historical perspective. Um, it's going to be a great presentation. We're, we're, we're really blessed. I'm, I'm so happy. Um, it's just a real honor for me and, and for our organization to, uh, to have you at this event. I, I, I can't say enough. Um, and so I won't, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just say thank you. We really appreciate your, um, availability to present and is there any anything that you'd like to leave us with as a teaser before uh, before we go today well yes um, you know those the, the, there's the saying that goes around those who do not learn history are condemned to repeat it and um, I, I really think that's true in the medical marijuana movement as well um, you know I see a lot of people who enter this movement and they're it's like they're trying to reinvent the wheel. Um, and so, um, I, you know, tune in, um, listen to what I have to say, learn a little bit, and uh, maybe it'll make the, the rest of your journey in medical cannabis a bit easier. Um, Hawaii was, was just so critical at the start. So I'm really, I'm excited about talking about it. It's been great to go back and and look at the documents and I'll be sharing some of those in slides and um, I'm, I'm really excited about it. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much. That's great advice and, and we'll do that. We, we may make that our, uh, our tagline moving forward. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, Brent. <laughs> so the event is going to be uh, in about one week next Saturday. That's November 7th. Um, We'll do a short uh, event intro at 8.45 a.m., followed immediately by Alice O'Leary Randall's presentation. Thank you so much, everyone. You can get more information at hawaiicannabis.org slash can shift. And uh, thank you again, Alice, for, for being available. My pleasure. Have a beautiful day. Aloha. Aloha. Aloha.